In this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at clause 4.4 of the various different management systems that speaks about the Sheck management system and its processes. So in order to create the information for this particular clause, we need to look at the following. The clauses all refer to the fact that we need to establish we need to implement, we need to maintain and continually improve the Sheck management system, its processes and interactions. And this is all remember from the, the first video tutorials that we did. It's all to achieve the intended outcome of the Sheck management system, which is basically a strong, profitable organization that meets its customer requirements, prevents injury and ill health, prevents pollution and environmental degradation. So those will be some of the primary emphasis for the intended outcome. So in order to achieve the intended outcome of the management system, we need to establish, we need to create, we need to implement, we need to implement the system that we've created, we need to maintain it, review it, audit it, inspect it, and then continually improve it. So in order to do that, the most detailed of all of the standards, particularly when it comes to clause 4.4, is ISO 9001 2015, which has a lot more requirements than 14 or 45. But in short, when looking at the Sheck management system, its processes and interactions, generally our approach to this particular clause would be to create an interrelationship of processes diagram, which describes in a macro overview the inputs to the organization. So what are the various different products, services, activities, materials, documents, information? What are all the inputs into the organization? What are the various different activities and processes? You can see we've got the inputs. They come into admin, sales and marketing, and then they may apply to the various different activities or processes for auditing, training, consulting, software or products. We also then need to determine what the outputs are to the various different processes. So some of our outputs may be proposals and training courses and the Mango Sheck software solution and risk assessments and waste. Now we need to maintain all of this as documented information in order to support operations and processes and provide confidence that we're able to achieve the intended outcome of the management system. So when we're considering these processes and interactions, we need to consider the following. We need to consider the sequence of these interactions. We need to consider where, when and how we're going to look at the Sheck performance monitoring and measurement. We need to have a look at the resources for the processes and interactions. We need to have a look at the roles, responsibilities and authorities through the interactions from inputs all the way to outputs. We need to have a look at risks and opportunities and we need to have a look at how changes would take place through the Sheck management system processes and interactions. So that's an overview of clause 4.4, the Sheck management system and its processes. We trust that you enjoyed this tutorial.